world. Now, today I am going to be talking about the importance of washing your fruits and vegetables thoroughly and checking for any recalls or warnings for any brands that might have contaminations. This past weekend, Saturday, was spent hunched over a small garbage bin and constant trips to the bathroom. Yes, I had E. coli poisoning or food poisoning, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it was horrible. I spent 15 hours straight just making trips to the bathroom, coming back to my bed, throwing up, trying to sleep, and only getting only a couple of minutes of sleep just to have to wake up and throw up in the bin and then go to the bathroom again and just do the cycle over and over again. And trust me, you don't want to go through that. The thing is that a bunch of different lettuce companies have been contaminated with E. coli and that was supposed to be sometime in December and the warning said that you have to be careful because some of the things because there were no recalls uh, it just only warnings and so what they said was um, the stores could still have them in stock it would take like five weeks um, for them to be like completely sold out or something. Uh, I think it was like five weeks for the lettuce to like start to go bad. So you would have like five weeks time to worry about this, I guess. I searched for, this was after the fact that I got sick. Uh, after I had already stopped with the whole horrible cycle of that horribleness. I had looked up uh, warnings, recalls, and such for different lettuce companies. Now the company that I got was Andy Boy. And the warnings and things like that for lettuce companies uh, were mainly just, you know, for December and January but as you can tell we're in February so then naturally I checked the brand of the lettuce that we bought and it said that that company was safe that the company had said that they were safe to eat that they didn't have any contamination and clearly that was not the case or maybe it's just a recent thing that they have just been contaminated because it was organic lettuce and you can kind of figure out that it's basically putting cow poop to make the food grow and there's always a risk with that um, because it is poop and it is packaged lettuce so maybe it's, it's probably not cleaned properly we did thoroughly clean the lettuce before eating it but E. coli doesn't really get washed off so the issue here is that my mom got sick but she didn't get as sick as I did she had a specialty that, you know, wiser people uh, tend to drink to help move things along. So she was only nauseous for about a day and was better the next day. Uh, when I got sick, which was the next day, 
because I can't have those kind of teas and I typically don't really like those kinds of teas. Um, everything was in my body and I had to go through a horrific 15 hours. Now, if you can imagine, puking for 15 hours is not fun. And it is painful after about the first half hour because your stomach muscles are constantly being used. Now add that with the constant trips to the bathroom and as you can tell, symptoms of E. coli poisoning, it was not great. So my stomach muscles were constantly being used for 15 hours straight. And today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday night right now. And my stomach muscles still kind of hurt. They were hurting so bad, even my stomach muscles cramped while I was walking to the kitchen the next day. And it's not fun. I mean, sure, it's a great workout for your stomach, but it hurts. It's excruciatingly painful. And I don't wish that on anybody. So my point here is do wash your fruits and vegetables thoroughly and check any local warnings or even just Google if there's any recalls on uh, foods and just make sure that you're aware of what's going on and with things like this if there are warnings for certain foods like lettuce or things like that avoid all of them because some companies even though they're different companies tend to buy from the same growers so yeah my point is just avoid whatever food that is altogether and just be safe because I really wouldn't wish this on anybody and for those of you living in Canada there is actually an app uh, from the Canadian government that you can uh, download from Google Play or the, the Apple Store and it'll actually uh, show you all the notifications for like different recalls and different safety warnings and such like it'll show you food, it'll show you uh, different products like uh, bikes and, and such so be sure to download that if you're Canadian um, it's better to be safe and be aware and avoid things that are potentially horrible um, than take a risk I am very lucky and also very grateful that I am alive because with equal eye poisoning not everybody survives it so I just want to say whatever power there is out there in my body thank you to my body as well for being strong enough to handle that to throw it all out Thank you guys for watching. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.